are these flowers beautiful around me, but they are also very bee friendly. These flowers are very attractive to bees. And as you can see here, there is also a bee hotel. I like to call them then. Okay, so mama bees lay their eggs in there. And since there are all kinds of bees, we have all kinds of bee hotels stacked in this area. In the spring, the eggs will hatch and then there will be enough nectar and flowers for the baby bees to practice pollinating. About the bees in this bee hotel, they don't hunt for nectar or, well, flower dust or things like that. They, their job is to only pollinate 70% of the flowers in California, which I think is a really good job. That's why this garden is built. It's to protect the bees and also, well, plant these flowers. Well, isn't it beautiful? Let's look more at the flowers. So there is um, an app called Seek, and it allows you to seek the flowers in a way. So first, let's take a look here. This beautiful flower is called the striped treasure flower. The purple flowers right beside it is called the small scabious, which is spelled S-C-A-B-I-O-U-S. Now, if you come over here, you can see that two bees are very attracted to the high pink flowers, which is called the hollyhock. Oh, isn't that a cute name? Hollyhock. If we look here, when you see it from a distance, it don't seem like it's made of paper. And that's one of the things I like about it. Look, there's a butterfly here. These is called Farewell to Spring, which I think is a little weird because maybe they only hatch in summer. I mean, Farewell to Spring. Well, that's summer, right? And well, I mean, there are so many more. 